Okay, so you're very welcome to the second Clean Coast Quiz um, on this for most of the country a really lovely evening. I uh, hope that staying at home is going okay for you, wherever you are. Uh, this week the quiz will be a little bit easier than last week, which uh, I personally found tough. And I know that, that quite a few people did too, but I think a lot of people learned from it, which is always good. So. We're going to start off with round one and the questions are all about Ireland's coastal heritage. So I hope you guys are ready. Let us begin. What was the name of the Irishman who invented the submarine? Granted, that, that's probably a bit tricky, but what was the name of the Irishman who invented the submarine? Maybe you didn't know that an Irishman invented the submarine. I didn't. Okay, question two. What is the name of the tower-like structures around the Irish coast that were built by the British in the 19th century? So again, what is the name of the tower-like structures found around the Irish coast that were built by the British in the 19th century? Question. Three. In what coastal area did Brian Baru or Bro will I, <laughs> defeat a Viking army in 1014? So that's in what coastal area did Brian Baru defeat a Viking army in 1014? It was the Battle of. Okay, number four. What famous Irish song mentions the pirate queen Gráire Vale in it? So that's what famous Irish song mentions the pirate queen Gráire Vale in it? Maybe a moment. Okay, number five. Which Irish monk was meant to be the first person to discover America? So that's which Irish monk was meant to be the first person to discover America? Question six, part of the movie Star Wars, The Force Awakens, was filmed on which Irish island? So part of the movie Star Wars, The Force Awakens, was filmed on which Irish island? Question seven. Poseidon was the Greek god of the sea and Neptune was the Roman equivalent. Who is the Irish god of the sea? So who is the Irish god of the sea? So you might need some time to debate that or come up with that. Who is the Irish God of the sea? And the final question around one, what is Ireland's most northerly point? What is Ireland's most northerly point? Okay, so how did you do? 
Feeling a little bit confident? Will we recap on those? So the first one was, what is the name of the Irishman who invented the submarine? The two is, what's the name of the tower-like structures found around the Irish coast? They were built by the British in the 19th century. Three, in what coastal area did Bain Baru defeat a Viking army in 1014? Four, a famous Irish song mentions the pirate queen Grania Vale in it. Five, what Irish monk was meant to be the first person to discover America? Six, part of the movie Star Wars, The Force Awakens, was filmed on which Irish island? And who is the Irish god of the sea? And just as a typo in, in number six, but you can just obviously ignore that. Just we're looking just for the Irish island that was featured in The Force Awakens. And then number eight, what is Ireland's most northerly point? Okay. I hope you did well. And we move on to round two, the picture round. So this is obviously picture round. I have two nine-year-olds here who are all about this. What is the name of this fish? Write it, write it. So I'll give you a minute to have a look at that. Question two, what migratory seabird is this? And for extra points, what fish has he caught in his mouth? So what's the seabird and what's the fish in his mouth? We're ready for the next one. We'll give you a minute more. What is the name of this invertebrate? So you might want to have a think about that. What is the name of this invertebrate? Okay, next question. These colorful creatures are found all around Ireland. What's their name? So these colorful creatures are found all around Ireland. What's their name? Okay, question five. What sometimes difficult to say creatures are these? Any ideas? Take a look. So what's sometimes difficult to say creatures are these? Question six. What defense mechanism does this cuttlefish use if frightened? So what defense mechanism does this cuttlefish use if frightened? And I have a very happy nine-year-old here who thinks he knows that. Okay, number seven. How many reptiles do we have in Ireland? So 
So how many reptiles do we have in Ireland? Can take a few more seconds to debate that. Eight. What endangered bird species is this? And there's been a lot of, of um, a lot of attention brought to this over the last two, three years in particular. What endangered bird species is this? And what is the main cause of their decline? We have a particularly definite sound. You maybe know that. Okay, so we move on and recap. Number one, what fish is that? Number two, the seabird, and a bonus point for what's in his beak. Number three, what type of animal is it or what's it called? Number four, the name of that animal. Number five, what is this animal called? Number six, the defense mechanism used by the cuttlefish if frightened. The next, how many reptiles do we have in Ireland? And finally, what bird is this and why is it in decline? Okay, I hope you did well in that round. And again, it's not all about getting it right. It's, it's also about learning some things. I'm going to go to the answers of round one. The Irishman who invented the submarine is John Philip Holland. Now that's news to me. Number two is Martello Towers, which, which are dotted around the coast. Three is the Battle of Clonturf. Four, the Zorosha de Bahawala. Five, St. Brendan. Six, Skelkvihil. Seven, the Irish God of the Sea is Lear. And eight, the most northerly point in Ireland is Malinhead. The two nine-year-olds have just told me that the most northerly point is Ma is Donegal. No, it's in Donegal. <laughs> it's in Donegal. So go on now to round three, which are songs of the sea. So there's a little hint with each one. We'll start with the first. And for any kids, they might neither parents or even maybe parents may not know this, but it's a it's a very well known song, so I think you might. And here we go. I might play that one more time, just in case. Okay. Sound two, or song two. The hint is you find these when you go to the beach. So even if you look at that, find these, it's not singular, it's plural, and... And 
just because it's a really good song. I'll play it again. Okay. Song three. So the hint, it's performed by a Scottish-Irish folk rock band. A lot of people might just know them as Irish. I'll play it again. Again, because it's a good song. Okay, song four, Pink Disney, ready? The nine-year-olds here are delighted to hear this one. Okay, I'll play it again. Okay. Song five. And the hint is all the cool kids are into this singer. And definitely not a cool kid. Okay, go again. Okay, not sure how that one went. For you guys, here is song six. As I walked by the dark side, one evening so fair to view the sun. And the nine year olds find that really fun. Okay, so I've got to play it again. As I walked by the dark side, one evening so fair to view the sun. Again, the hint is think musical instrument. Song seven. And the hint is this 90s floor filler is a dance classic. Let's wait and see. Ready again? The last one, I hope you're doing well, or at least enjoying some of the music. The last one, song eight, Pink Underwater. Ready? Do it again. Okay. 
Okay. So again, the hint was think underwater. So that's three rounds down. There's two more rounds to go. I hope you're doing well, learning a little bit and feeling confident in some of your answers. And again, main reason we do this is just to bring some of the coast, some of the sea to you while a lot of people can't get out to the to access that at the moment. So the answers to round two. Asking the shark was the first one. The bird in, in picture two was a puffin and it had some razor fish in its mouth. Three was sea gooseberry. Do you know how many got that right? Sea gooseberry. I'd say more than you might think. Four is nudie branch. Is that the nudie branch? Five is, and, and I am for one always getting this wrong. An enemy, an enemy. Six, the cuttlefish squirt ink. So it's the seven is two types of reptiles exist in Ireland, the common lizard and the slow worm. And I've seen a couple of common lizards here in West Kerry. And then I'd say a lot of people got this right. The bird in number eight was the curlew. And it is in decline because of its habitat being lost and destroyed. So I hope you did well in that round. And we move on to round four. What are young dolphins called? Question one. So what are young dolphins called? Two, what colour is an octopus's blood? So what colour is the blood of an octopus? Three, which ocean has the most coral reefs? The Atlantic, the Pacific or the Indian? So that's which ocean has the most coral reefs, the Atlantic, Pacific or Indian? Okay. Number four. Which river in Ireland meets the sea at Waterford Harbour? So which river in Ireland meets the sea at Waterford Harbour? Question five. What are a group of jellyfish called? A colony, a gaggle or a swarm? It's what are a group of jellyfish called? A colony, a gaggle, or a swarm? Okay. Number six. What type of fish is Nemo? In the film Finding Nemo. The nine-year-olds are loving this question. So what type of fish is Nemo?
Number seven. What is the largest animal on the planet? So that what is the largest animal on the planet? Question eight. Approximately how many tons of litter enter the ocean? And the, or enter our oceans and seas each year? 500 tons, 1 million tons, or 10 million tons? So approximately how many tons of litter are expected to enter our seas and oceans this year? Or each year, really? And it's, it's not getting lower, unfortunately. Is it 500 tons, 1 million tons, or 10 million tons? So I hope that round was okay for you. I just need to go back to the answer, to one of the answers in the previous rounds. And Puffin had sand eels in its gob, or in its mouth. So sand eels were in its mouth. So we got that wrong, terribly sorry. Okay, so the recap of questions in round four. What are young dolphins called? What color is the blood of an octopus? Which ocean has the most coral reefs? The Atlantic, the Pacific, or the Indian? Which river in Ireland meets the sea at Waterford Harbour? What are a group of jellyfish called? A colony, a gaggle, or a swarm? Six, what type of fish is Nemo? Seven, what's the largest animal on the planet? Eight, approximately how many tons of litter will enter our ocean and seas each year? Is it 500 tons, 1 million tons, or 10 million tons? Okay. So we're going to go now and look at the answers to round three. So now it was to name the song. So we put down the singer or the band, um, just really for your own interest. So the first one was Beyond the Sea. The second is Waves. Three is Fisherman's Blues. Four, Under the Sea. Five, Ocean Eyes. And that was the one all the cool kids at the moment like this woman billy eilish so ocean eyes six the great dubliners and it was fiddler's green seven is beach ball and eight was of course yellow submarine so we'll go into our final round now for round five and this is a bit of fun this is a picture round so you're going to have some pictures and you're going to tell us what is being described. So the example here is a dog and a fish is a dogfish. So on your marks, get set. Let's go. What animal is this describing? Now the nine-year-olds are loving this. Okay. Leave that up for a few more seconds. <clears throat> what do you think that is? And it's literally say what you see. Okay. Number two. What's this one? So say what you see. Number three. Have you got it? A few more seconds. Say exactly what you see. Okay. Number four. It's a little bit trickier. Maybe not. 
I think you might get this. Now, number five. What Irish place name do these does, do these pictures describe? So this is a place, quite a well-known place, quite a well-known building in Ireland. So again, it's exactly what you see. Okay. Number six, what Irish place name do these pictures describe? And the clue or the hint I'll give you here is that don't concentrate on the person being a man. It's what he's doing is, the, is part of the clue. So what Irish place name do these pictures describe? Alrighty. Seven. What Irish place name do these pictures describe? Now, I think that's a bit tricky looking at that. What Irish place name do these pictures describe? The nine-year-olds are stumped too, okay. Eight, and this one, what Irish place name are these pictures telling us? So again, so again, say exactly what you see. Is that a bit tricky? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to round that up now and we will have a look at the answers to that round. So number one, just to recap, number two, three, four. five six seven and eight seven is the one that's getting me okay and the answers are to round four my apologies the answers to round four are calves blue pacific ocean has the most reefs the river barrow remember from your geography, Barrow is in Waterford. Swarm. Nemo is, of course, a clownfish. Blue whale is, of course, the biggest animal on the earth. And 10 million tons. 10 million tons of, of litter will end up in our oceans and seas each year, which is just it's too big an amount to even visualize. So we're going to go into the answers for our final round, which is the picture round. So whenever you're ready, I'm going to press this down and we're going to go seahorse. I think everyone probably got that. Two was jellyfish. Three was bottlenose dolphin. Four, great white shark. Five, hook lighters. Six, the Aran Islands. Seven, I just didn't see it. Fanor Beach, Fanor Beach in Clare, brilliant. And eight is the Dingle Peninsula. Dingle Pen in Solar. Really good. So I hope all everybody enjoyed it. I hope you got 
some right. I hope you learned some things and I hope you felt a little bit of the coast and a little bit of um, of clean coast was coming to, to you this evening. Um, stay safe while stay at home and uh, let us know how you get on. Let us know if there's uh, any particular round that you think might be good for a quiz. And um, we are wide open to um, hearing any anything you might have to say. So take care. Hopefully we'll see you next week.